Falls are demonstrations of power. Falls are how the ruling class remain the ruling class. Exactly what I've been saying. This family could use some balls. Indeed. And the Collins family have always held the biggest and the most wonderful balls. People don't throw balls anymore, stupid. Even knowing Dark Shadows, I really didn't know what I was getting into with the movie. How big of a fan were you of the show, or was it something you were just aware of, or? No, I was a huge fan. I mean, one of the reasons I wanted to do it, but it was also daunting, was it was such a strange phenomenon. I mean, I, I remember it, you know, going home from school, should have been doing homework instead of watching Dark Shadows. You know, it had a, you know, it was unique. There was nothing on it like it before. But at the same time, it was a tricky one because it had a, has a real hardcore fan base and then a lot of people just don't even know what it is. So, you know, kind of having to make a movie where if you don't know Dark Shadows, you don't, doesn't matter. But it was, it was risky because, you know, the Dark Shadows fans are quite, you know, intense and I think they might have wor got worried that I was sort of making fun of it. But the thing for the show for me, is that I recall it just so fondly, and it was done with such affection that as you talk to Dark Shadows fans, like Michelle Pfeiffer, big Dark Shadows fan, you hear them talk about it. There's such a joy about it. You know what I mean? Even though the show is quite serious, and but real fans, there's a certain joy about it. So I just tried to capture the spirit of how I remember the show made me feel. Well, I think there was a real lunacy of invention. Like anything could happen, and you had, and they were willing to try anything at any point. You know, they were the kind of the first thing that I can recall that just mix, mixed everything up into a big mishmash, you know? I mean, and at the same time, keeping the very simple idea of it's a family story, which I like too, you know? I mean, there's something that's both very simple and quite surreal and supernatural about just families in general, you know? And, and so that was, that was something I always liked about the idea of the show, is like, it's basically a family story, it just happens to have supernatural elements to it. I got a chance uh, back in the early 90s to visit the Gotham sets when you were doing Batman Returns. And uh, the thing that blew me away at the time was just how all-encompassing it was. And even today, there's not a lot of sets I've been to that are more complete than that. This is another case where you built it, where the house is such yeah. an important character in the film. Yeah. You know, not a lot of directors are still doing giant builds for their films. Well, yeah. And I mean, in this particular case, it helped a lot because you know, it's just because Dark Shadows is a weird tone to get and most of the cast didn't know the show at all and I didn't really feel like showing them episodes because it might scare them off, is to have sets that the actors could kind of get into. It's because Colin Wood is like a character in the film, you want the cast and the crew to be able to experience it. It just helps everyone, you know. We've all done green screen stuff. But for this particular thing where it's actor driven and you're trying to capture a weird tone, having the sets was more just essential on this one. Thank you for taking the time today. I'm very excited for Frank and Weenie later this yeah, year. Yeah, no, I'm excited it's, too. Uh, no, it's, it's a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs>